Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be completing an urban sketch that I started last weekend on location. Um, I didn't get it completed. I have some of the pencil drawing done and I was recording it, but it didn't turn out very well. So I'm just gonna pick up from where I left off. And um, this is a photo of the home that I was sketching. So, um, We'll go ahead and get started, and I'm going to time lapse some of this um, sketching because it takes a long time, and I know you guys don't have a lot of time to sit and watch me sketch. So, um, but then the watercoloring, I will do it normal or fairly normal speed. So let's get started. I'm using a straight edge because there were so many roof lines and angles on this home it was a real challenge to get the perspective correct and I was really watching the lines carefully otherwise this house would have been bending every which way so that's why I used it here Now here I was getting ready to put in my roof lines and saw that I was actually missing a roof line completely. The porch overhang where the steps are going up to the doorway so I had to quickly put that in and if I had missed it I would have had an ink line going right through the middle of that roof line. Now here I'm putting in my roof line on this angle and realized that I brought the wall down where the roof was supposed to be coming in around and wrapping around the wall and it does that in a few places and I messed it up in a couple of places but um, and now I've got a little line going through it. It's not a big deal. I also wanted to show you here the detail work on the railings. I can't put all that work in on this little bitty sketchbook. The colors though 
are amazing. And then even up under the roof, um, you can see all the little bit of lattice work and everything, and then they have lights hanging there. And then those are screens that drop down, that are rolled up. And I'm not going to put any of that in, though. I was just noticing on the photo here that there are so many colors on this house. There's yellow, there's this red color, the greens are different in different areas. So I'm going to have to really watch that when I put them down. I need, need to gray the roof down a little bit more and I'm going to do that in a little while.
using a marker, a Tombow marker, which is water soluble, and I was not thinking. I thought, okay, I'll just put my lines in with this pen. It'll be easier than using a thin watercolor line. And then later I realized I don't have my shadows in. And I went over some of the marker, and you'll see it kind of uh, makes everything pink mixing with my shadow color not a good thing I feel like I ruined the sketch doing that but live and learn now here I'm just adding in the siding lines I think it adds to the actual sketch that's why I put them in this time I didn't put in all the shingles though I just put them here and there along the roof to give um, some accent to the roof so it's not so bare looking also as you see I'm not using a straight edge to put the lines in I could do that but I kind of like the non straight look to the sketches. I guess it's just my style. Some people may not like that and think it looks messy, but I just like the free-handed look. Also, if you watched my fountain pen video that I did the other day, I talked about using my pen upside down for a finer line. Here I am using my fountain pen upside down, as you can see and it is making the lines thinner. In my pen I'm using Noodler's Bulletproof Lexington Gray. It starts out real dark but it dries lighter. I'm really enjoying this color. And then here on the poles I decided to put the gray stripes in. I left the other part white. The poles are actually yellow but I needed some contrast to the background, so I left them white. Now here is where I go over that marker and everything started to turn pink. I do fix it later, you won't see it in the video, so it is darker, but then I feel like my shadows got a little too dark in order to cover up the pinkish orange color that I had going on. But um, I went back with some blue to try to darken it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave comments down below and like. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I've got a huge giveaway coming up. Talk to you soon.